What's going on everybody, Tactical Productions 7 here, back with the Minecraft mod tutorial for you guys today. Today's mod tutorial will be on the Houdini mod, or the Houdini, no clue how to pronounce it. Anyways, what it does is it allows you to modify your hood, as well as add a few other features like key binding, um, and having lists, and different things like that. So, first off, you can see up in the top right left hand corner I'm sorry you can see the time of day it is in my world here uh, you can see how many uh, how much more damage my sword and all my armor can take now if I go ahead and hit control you can see it brings up more options on the screen directly in the center right along the crosshair so you can see there's a grass block there that's seven meters away and I'm looking at it I'm looking down at an angle of 10 so if I look about right there, I'm looking dead straight. And of course, if I go all the way up, it's 90 degree angles. Then you've got about like 45 right there. So that number right there will tell you the angle that you're looking at. And then of course, as I said before, uh, it shows you the dirt and how many meters away it is. So that's that feature of the mod is the control button. Now, if you walk it'll also tell you how fast you're going so I can run point twenty eight I think that's correct point twenty eight MT I don't know what MT means but I do know that that is measuring how fast you are going so that's what the control does the left control that is now if you go ahead and hit H it will bring up the Houdini aesthetics menu so you have your AM and your PM mode. You can have that on or off, so it tells you the time. Uh, your recipe column style, uh, you can have it as column. Um, you can turn that on or off. Uh, your potion numerals, your recipe select noise, and your translucent minimap. So if you have a minimap installed, uh, like Reese minimap, you could have it turned on or off using this. Uh, you have your percentages on top. Uh, that's off. Uh, if I turn that on, you'll see what happens after. There's a pretty text editor. Uh, your hood layout, you can change it from being up in the left to the middle to the right. I'll keep it at the left. Let's go ahead and hit next. Now we have your armor stats. Of course, that's on your food notifier. What this will do is when you get below five um, food points, pretty much you're below halfway so it'll have a notifier coming up a notifier come up that'll tell you that you do need to eat soon uh, of course there's your mini map stuff uh, your potion info so whenever you use a potion it'll go ahead and show you the effect um, a little bit more organized instead of having to open up your inventory and seeing a big um, texture for it your recipe info I'll get into that in a little bit um, your weapon damage crosshair info I've already showed you that your key binding commands um, and then you can change the color of this menu here uh, this is not the original color so if I go ahead and hit reset this is the original color and there you go that is the aesthetics menu now another thing you can do is hit C and this will bring up your key binds you can see I made a key bind here that says hello um, you can just add it simply by doing this uh, click on new key bind and then we'll do Y and then we'll type in oh didn't mean to do that okay I guess we're doing no I want to do Y let me do Y Y okay there we go then we'll do just what's up boom hit enter so now that I've added that key bind if I hit exit and I hit Y you can see it'll say what's up I also had R select as hello looks like I'm talking to myself there so there you go that is the key binds now let's go ahead and go up here and I will show you the recipe thing uh, to pretty much show you the recipe for any item you want um, the only unfortunate thing is is it's all in alphabetical order so if you really want to find something you can have you're gonna have to search for it so say I want to know how to craft an enchantment table I should go ahead and click on that and there you go there's a crafting recipe for the enchantment table it will not actually give you the items to craft it you do have to have the items yourself um, so yeah there is the crafting recipe stuff and like I said it's all in alphabetical order as you can see 
and it's just very nice and easy to show you the crafting recipes. So there is that, and I believe that's pretty much it. Oh, one last thing. If you go ahead and hit apostrophe, it'll bring up a thing to make a list that'll show up in the top right-hand corner by default, I believe. And it'll just have a list of stuff that you can do. Um, you can make your list. I'm not sure how to make the list actually show up and everything, um, but I do know that it is in all the information on the web page. Uh, I tried to make a list earlier, but I couldn't figure out how to get it to all work out, and I really didn't want to read through the entire uh, forum to figure out how to do a list. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the Houdini mod. Just a better way to uh, make Minecraft a little bit easier to use, more user-friendly, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I now need to clear up my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back, and I will show you how to install this mod. Alright, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR, SeverInZip, or WinZip. Now, all archiving programs will relatively work the same exact way, so you can use whatever archiving program you would like to use. However, I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. You'll also need to download the Minecraft Forge installer and the Houdini mod itself. So to get these two files, I'll go ahead and give you the link to these two pages in the description. So first off, let's go ahead and look at the Houdini page on the Minecraft forums. And if we scroll down, you'll have a whole bunch of screenshots here showing you the different uh, features by this mod. And then we have all of the information of the mod right here. Um, and then we get into, uh, into depth with the information uh, down here with all the features of the mod and how to use everything exactly. But we want to go ahead and come down to the download section and click on the very first link for Minecraft 1.6.2. This will then take us over to a media fire, and of course, you should click on the green download button to download the mod. So that is how to download the Houdini mod. Now for Minecraft Forge, if we go ahead and come over to the main Forge, download. You can either download this from AdFly or direct. What do you prefer to do? Keep in mind, downloading it from AdFly will help support the mod creator. Um, I would recommend downloading the recommended installer. Again, make sure you're downloading the recommended installer. So once you have everything downloaded, you're ready to install the mod. So first off, you want to go ahead and open up Minecraft Forge Installer. Go ahead and right click it. Do open with and then select Java Platform SE Binary. If you don't see this in the list, go ahead and do choose default program and then select that. So once you have that open, it should already have install client select off and all you have to do is hit OK. And a new a window will open up saying that it successfully installed it. And again, just hit OK. So now that you have Minecraft Forge installed, let's go ahead and come over to start and type in percent app data percent and open up your roaming folder. Then open your dot Minecraft. Now you're going to need a mods folder in your dot Minecraft folder. So if you don't have one already, you will need to create one. So to do that, you want to go ahead and right click within the dot Minecraft folder, go down to new, then select folder. This will of course create a new folder and you're going to run rename this folder mods. So just M-O-D-S, no capitalization. So once you have your mods folder, go ahead and open that up. And simply take your Houdini zip file and drag it into the mods folder. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and close the mods folder down. And open up your Minecraft launcher. Go down to edit profile. Then select use latest version and scroll down until you see the release 1.6.2 forge. And then hit save profile and go ahead and play just to show you that the mod is in fact installed. So let this load up here. And you can see that I do have the mod installed. If I go ahead and hit H here, we have the menu back. And there you go. That is in how to install the Houdini mod. So if you could, please leave a comment down below. Give the video a like. Um, I've noticed my videos have been losing a lot more views lately, and I don't really know why. Um, my guess is just that Minecraft is losing its popularity in general, and that's really mostly what my videos are about. So if you could, please help me out by giving me a like, comment, maybe share if you want. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.